What's up y'all? Out here at the range again as you can see behind me. Not doing jelly tests out here today, but we're testing out some new tools for the channel. Uh, y'all should have already seen one I already did before this one. I'll leave a link if you hadn't. You might want to go check that one out first. No kind of spoilers or anything, but you probably want to see that. It was a fun video. But what I'm testing this time is something that's been out quite a while, but I've had multiple people actually request in the comments that I pick one of these up and test it myself and let them know my personal opinion on it. So that's what I went and did. So as y'all can see by the title, what we're working with today is the citadel ata 12 uh the boss hog the warthog whichever they call it now i believe they've changed the name to the boss hog but boss hog warthog they're both the same thing uh, a 12 gauge semi-auto shotgun with a 20 inch barrel really inexpensive option that you can pick up out there um, this one uh, you can pick this thing up on sale at rk for 159 dollars normal price on it's 179 but you can catch it on sale quite often for 159 and that's what i've got into this thing so like I said, semi-auto 12 gauge, three inch chamber on it. It does have a 20 inch barrel, comes with a set of uh, removable external chokes. You can see here, come with the cylinder, the modified and the full choke and your little choke tube wrench there. Now I've got the cylinder in it now to do my testing out here today because I'm going to run some rifled slugs and stuff out of it. But like y'all know, I always do with any semi-auto. Uh, I took it home, completely disassembled it, got all that nasty um, assembly grease and all that shipping grease and stuff off of it, gave it a good coat of CLP uh, and left it with this bolt open. The bolt's been open for about a week, so it's kind of softened the spring up a little bit. Not really a whole lot to talk about with this thing. It's a basic semi-auto shoddy holds four in the tube here it's got a dovetail cut into the receiver on top so if you want to put some kind of optic on it from what i understand but nelly nova uh magazine tube extensions will fit on this thing and several other parts will fit on this thing from other manufacturers i got several different loads i'm gonna try out with it today everything from double alt buck fetters to some cheap estate double alt bucks to some three inch turkey load uh some wolf rifled slugs and some seven and a half federal top gun target load i'm hoping this thing runs out good for a 159 bucks i mean if this thing runs and cycles it's well worth the money for sure so let me get everything set up and we'll get started on this thing all right y'all let's get this party started out here i got it loaded up with the two and three quarter double alt buck fetter brand out here i got one in the chamber and four in the tube so uh, i think i'll just run through these different types of ammo and then we'll put some more fun targets out here now generally i like to run about 20 to 30 rounds of some decent double alt buck like this before i go to the light target loads and stuff but we just gonna run on through it and put it through the gauntlet today and see how it can hold up so here we go five double alt bucks y'all all right so far so good run all five of them gotta love that barrel smoke all right let me load us back up and we'll keep going all right, got five of the same loads again, the two and three quarter double alt buck fetter. So I'm gonna just do fast fire on this one as fast as I can run all five of them out, y'all. Here we go. All right, so far so good on this thing. All right, let's move along to the estate double alt buck. This is some really cheap stuff. Y'all know that estate brand, it's low brass and everything, but it's still two and three quarter double alt buck. So let's see how it handles this cheapy stuff. Uh, I got five of them in here again. I'm gonna probably run three of them on the steel and then take them two bottles out with the last two. Here we go at the 25, y'all. Brand new estate brand, perfect. All right, y'all, that's 15 rounds of double alt buck so far with absolutely no problem whatsoever. Uh, to be honest with you, I'd like to have uh, 10, 10, 20 more maybe to feel real comfortable about target loading this thing, but we're pressing our luck out here. So I got five rounds of Federal Top Gun number seven and a half, two and three quarter target load in here, uh, 1,200 feet per second. So at least it ain't super slow. So if we're gonna have troubles, this is gonna be where it's at. This is low brass target loading this thing. So let's see what we get, y'all. And there it went. Target load, no problem at all. 
All right, let's step it on up again, y'all. We're gonna press our luck even more. We got the three inch in here now. We got the Nitro Express turkey load in here, in, uh, ounce and seven eighths of number five shot in here. I think this is moving at 12, 10 feet per second. So still pretty good uh, speed on it. Let's see what we get, y'all. No problem. I tell you, moving from that two and three quarter of any kind up to three inch, then you realize you're behind a scatter gun then, buddy. All right, let's get these other four out of here. Let's hit that 25. Woo! All right, there it went, all four of them. I only put four in there. I didn't have but four left from the uh, earlier test today. So three inches, absolutely perfect through the Citadel Boss Hog. All right, moving it along again, y'all. We're moving to the rifle slugs. This time we got the Wolf one and an eighth ounce slug in here, two and three quarter inch, 12 gauge. So let's see what these do. I think I'm gonna put one out there at the 25 and then we'll take out this old pineapple gang down here with the last ones. I got five in here, but I'll save one in case we miss. All right, 25. We missed the very first one. Let me try that 25 again. I don't know if I'm shooting high or low. I can't tell where I'm at. Let me try to aim a little lower. I was aiming too low actually. So I don't know how many that was. Uh, let's get some double off buck and let's finish it off them pineapples out there. All right, I know I can take care of these suckers. Not very exciting, but we got them anyway. All right, y'all, we got to finish this pineapple off. It just it took a couple of double off buck pellets and didn't even hardly do a, nothing to it. It wounded it and the thing kept on coming. So I'm gonna try this three inch turkey load, see if it does any better with these shoulder bruisers. Let's see if we can get him. I think that done the job. All right, y'all. Seems like we got some unfinished business out here. If y'all seen my last Remington 870 video, you know we had some zombies creep up here on the range. I had to take them out. Well, it looks like they came back. You know them things is hard to keep down. So let's see if we can finish them off out here. All right, I think we got him that time. All right, y'all, we calling it right there for this one. I don't know what it is about scatter guns, but man, they are just too much fun out here. I had a blast again out here running this thing. As for this old Citadel Boss Hog, I don't know about y'all, but where I come from, we call that a perfect performance. This thing ate everything I gave it from double alt bucks to target loads to slugs to three inch cheap and cheap double alt bucks, low brass, high brass. It did not care. It ate everything I gave it and spit it right back out down range with no problem whatsoever. So I guess the question is, what do I think about this thing? For $159 or even $179, it's an absolute steal if you ask me. Uh, now, I know a lot of people's probably their main question is, what about for home defense? And I'll be honest with you, my opinion is I would rather not use any semi-auto for home defense. As far as a shoddy, I would much rather prefer a pump if I'm going to use it for home defense. Just because even though this thing ran perfect out here, and absolutely, I feel, I feel pretty confident with it. If if I had to use it, absolutely. I'd pick it up and have no problems and feel very confident that it was going to do the job. But a pump shoddy just has so much less to go wrong. I mean, you don't have to worry about cycling issues. As long as you can move your hand back and forth, that pump is pretty much going to run for you. But like I say, for people who want a semi-auto and if you want something for home defense on a budget, honestly i i would i would say i would feel comfortable with this i really would i would honestly feel comfortable with this if i had to use this for home defense but y'all let me know y'all's thoughts on it down in the comments do y'all any y'all have this warthog boss hog whatever you want to call it uh has it run good for y'all has it had problems let me know down in the comments what your experience with these are if you enjoyed the video make sure you reach down hit that thumbs up make sure you subscribe to the channel hit that bell notification icon so when i upload these new videos you can get notified and check them out check out my amazon storefront affiliate link down in the description like i always 
always ask if you shop through Amazon anyway, hit that link up first before you go there. It takes you right through Amazon like normal. Don't cost you any extra money whatsoever. And anything you buy on Amazon after you hit that link up first, I get a kickback from them towards the channel. So I really appreciate that. Appreciate all my range game members who reached out and hit that join button. Y'all have already seen a little preview of this thing. So you knew it was coming. And there's one more y'all have already seen a preview on too that I'm getting ready to do some testing out here now. A big thank you to everybody who watches my channel, checks out my videos, thumbs up, subscribes, and leave me comments down below. Like I said, let me know what your thoughts are on this old boss hog. Like I said, I got one more tool I'm gonna be trying to test out here today. And then after that, I'll be back out here in a couple more days with a whole nother batch of jelly tests. So y'all make sure y'all be on the lookout for those. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see y'all soon.